اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لعن الذین کفروا من بنی اسرائیل على لسان داود و عیس ابن مریم ذالك بما عصو و کانو یعتدون کانو لا یتناہون عم منکر فعلوه لبئس ما کانو یفعلون صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و حلل اقلتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم ربنا الہمنا رشدنا و عزنا من شرور انفسنا اللہم ارن الحق حقا و ارزقنا اتباعه و ارن الباطل باطلا و ارزقنا اجتنابه اللہم وفقنا لما تحب و ترضا اللہم آنس وحشتنا فی قبورنا و رحمنا بالقرآن العظیم اللہم اجعله لنا اماما و نورا و حدا و رحمہ اللہم اذکرنا منہما نسینا و علمنا منہما جہلنا و ارزقنا تلاوته آنا اللیل و آنا النہار و اجعله لنا حجت یا رب العالمین آمین Dear brothers and sisters and sons and daughters in Islam السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are beginning the study of Surah Al-Ma'idah from ayah number 78 today. لُعِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُ مِنْ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ As you know, the discourse regarding the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians is continuing. Now a very strong word is coming here. لُعِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُ مِنْ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ عَلَى لِسَانِ دَعْبُودَ وَعِيسَ بْنِ مَرْيَمْ Those from Bani Israel who disbelieved or who didn't have the real faith. It's not necessary that this kufr may be always legal form. The real kufr. I have emphasized this point. Legal Iman, real Iman. Legal Kufr, real Kufr. Legal Irtidat and real Irtidat. These things should be very clear because generally we pass from these words, you know, and these ayat, keeping the only the legal aspect in our mind and that becomes a hindrance, an obstruction in reaching the essence of the ayat. To those of Bani Israel, because as a whole they were a Muslim Ummah, legally they were not Kafirs. But actually, if we see to the real Iman, the real faith, most of them were lacking it, just as we today are lacking it. We are Muslims. We profess to be Muslims. We are testifying, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, everything is okay. We are Muslims. But how many of us have the, have the real Iman? It's absolutely different issue. You know, there's one proof of it, which nobody can refute, that the great majority of the Muslims today are not Mormons. What's the proof? We read the ayah in Surah Ali Ibran, وَلَا تَهِنُوا وَلَا تَحْذَنُوا وَأَنْتُمُ الْعَالَوْنَ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Don't be grieved. O Muslims, we promise to you, you will be supreme, you will dominate, only if you are Mormons. And we are not dominating. We are being trampled down under the, under the feet of others. We are controlled by others. Our resources are actually in their own hands now. Only, apparently we are free. We have 60 or more free Muslim countries in the world. Can we really point out to a country which is really free? That means we are not Mormons. Two and two go to make four. There can be no escape from it. The same was the case with Bani Israel. They were a Muslim Ummah, no doubt. But the majority of them lacked the real Iman. And now here a very strong word is used. Loina. They were cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we find, you know, the stronger words. ضُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الزِّلَّةُ وَالْمَسْكَنَةُ وَبَعُوا بِغَلَوِ مِنَ اللَّهِ These are the wordings from Surah Al-Baqarah. There are, you know, nearly the same wordings appear with a little difference in Surah Al-Ibran. And we can see our own picture in this mirror. 
نورمت علیہ نا ذلت و المسکنہ الوم ٹوڈے وی آر دی ہیومیلیٹیڈ ونس ہیومیلٹی ہیومیلیشن ہیز بین ہیپ دا پاس اینی ہاؤ اللہ بٹ اللہ ڈزن اسپیک ڈائریکٹلی ٹو ایوری بڈی اللہ لسان دابو دبائی سب نے مریم آن دی ٹنگ آف دابود علیہ سلاۃ وسلام اینڈ عیسا سن آف میری دے کرسٹ اینڈ وی کین فائنڈ ان دی گوسپل ہاؤ حضرت مسیح علیہ سلاۃ وسلام کریٹیسائز دی جیوز یو آر لائک سرپنٹس یو آر لائک گریوز ان وچ دے از نتھنگ بٹ دی کیڈ بونس بٹ ابو دی گریو یو ہیو اے ویری گڈ وائٹ کلر اینڈ وائٹ یو نو کلاتھ ان دی سیم وے You pose to be very pious people, religious people. Rabbani yul. But actually within you is hidden a character, an extremely mean character. So that was the plight of Bani Israel. And same is ours. لُعِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ عَلَىٰ لِسَانِ دَعُودَ بَعِيسَ بِنَا الْمِعَرْدِيَمْ ذَلِكَ بِمَا عَصَوْا وَكَانُوا يَعْتَدُونَ And this was not without any cause. This was because they had been transgressing, disobeying asaw, ma'asiyah wa kanu ya'tadun, they were transgressing the limits kanu la ya'tadahaw, that one of their very big shortcomings and again don't feel offended I will invite you to see whether we are not doing the same kanu la ya'tadahaw na'al munkarin fa'alu they didn't forbid each other from the wrong things which they were doing. Because when a nation or a community as a whole goes down, they have a gentleman agreement among themselves. You don't criticize me, I won't criticize you. Let us make that agreement. Kanu la yatana hauna an munkarin falu. They were not forbidding each other. On the wrong things they were, they were committing. Definitely it was very evil what they were doing. You will see many of them making friends and taking them as protectors. Whom? Here kafaru means something else. The idolaters. The people of Arabia who are worshipping idols, the associators with Allah, the pagan Arabs, they used to say, well, they are on a better level than these Muslims. This is the extremity, extremism of enmity they had against Muhammad sallam and the Muslims. تَرَا كَسِيرًا مِنْهُمْ يَتَوَلَّوْنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَبِيسَ مَا قَدَّمَتْ لَهُمْ أَنفُسُهُمْ Surely, very evil and bad is what their souls have sent forward for themselves. This is Iman Bil Akhra. Whatever we are doing, we are sending it for ourselves. We shall find it in the hereafter. لَبِيسَ مَا قَدَّمَتْ لَهُمْ أَنفُسُهُمْ Their own ids and libidos and baser selves. They are sending, what they are sending? The stocks, they are gathering in the hereafter. They are very bad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been angered upon them. And they will abide forever in the punishment, in the chastisement. Had they believed really in Allah and this Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ma'unzila ilayhi. And what has been sent down to him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ma attakaduhum awliya. They would not have made friends with these pageants and idolaters. Wa lakinna kasiram minhum fasiqoon. But most of them are actually themselves transgressors. So they are making friendship with them 